Robot, pour me some of that blue milk. Ah, uh, you sure, Master? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, but I warn you, this bantha was very old. Good luck, sir. Thanks. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Will. Welcome to episode three of Real Robots, where we continue building our bartender robot. This time we're going to work on the pump station. The pump station is the part of the robot that will be activated by voice command to dispense our favorite liquid that will be housed in these three containers, which you can see here on the maquette. If you can believe it, the entire robot was designed around the size of these bottles. I tried putting two liter bottles inside, but I could only fit two. I really felt like that I needed the power of three. So I ended up with uh, this bottle, which is a 1.5 liter bottle. And we've got three of them, so we got about four and a half liters of liquid that we can dispense. One of the things I want to design into the system is a pressure sensor. I'm hoping that the sensor will let us know when the bottle's empty so that we can have the robot uh, remind us to replace that empty bottle. Let's take a look at the pumps that I ended up using. So originally I got a 12 volt impeller pump and it just didn't have enough vacuum to pull the air out of the tube that went to the bottom of the bottle to the top. So I looked online and did a little research and found these little guys. These are 24 volt uh, peristolic pumps. So these are self priming so we can get each one of these bottles to self prime and get the liquid up and out and dispensed. Let's get started on this pump station. We're going to do what we did on the last episode, which is fuse, fill, sand, and paint. Let's get started. I'd like to take a moment out to talk about the pump system. So basically we have this platform that slides in and out of the robot and we're going to have three bottles inside the platform and this will house all three of our motors that will pump the fluid out. This kind of tilts back and slides down so that you can easily access the bottles. Next I'd like to attach the pumps to the platform and get them wired up so we can do a little test. Let's get started. Let me guide you through the piping system. So basically I have one, two, three check valves, but then the check valves allow the liquid to only go in one direction so we don't have any backwash going into each of the pumps when each individual pump is pumping a different fluid. So once I get this mounted with some silicone tubing and some zip ties, we'll uh, test it out. So let's get started.
now that the pump system's installed, we're going to test the voice recognition system. Basically, I'm going to ask the robot to decant either green, red, or blue. Hopefully, if he understands what I'm saying, he's going to decant the liquid into this container. Let's get to it. Robot, pour green water. Okay, turning on pump one. Turning off pump one. Robot, pour red water. Okay, turning on pump two. Turning off pump two. Robot, pour blue water. Okay, turning on pump three. Turning off pump three. Robot, pour red water. Okay, turning on pump two. Turning off pump two. Robot, pour blue water. Okay, turning on pump three. Turning off pump three. Our bottle is empty. Please replace. Our bottle is empty. Please replace. I'm pleased with the overall outcome of this episode. We managed to build the entire pump system, get it installed, and test all the systems. We know that the pumps work great, that we can voice activate them, but the pressure sensors still need a little bit of tweaking, but they work great as well. On the next episode, I wanna recap what we've done up to this point. I wanna go into greater detail about how some of these subsystems work and how the software and the hardware work together to control a single robot. I'll see you on the next episode of real robots. Stop.